The economic effects of hurricanes can be measured by GDP, unemployment, and damage costs. The United States economic health can be altered based on the intensity of a storm. The economic health of a community such as a city, state, or town can and has been changed never to return to the norm. In this video we will visit three major hurricanes. Hurricanes which have had a measurable impact on the communities where they hit and on the United States economy. economy. Hurricane Katrina struck Louisiana on August 29, 2005, causing storm surges that swamped New Orleans levees. The storm was the third strongest to make landfall in the U.S. and the third worst hurricane in terms of lives lost. However, Katrina was the costliest on record in terms of dollar damages. According to the Financial Times, the current Hurricane Katrina estimates are about $100 billion. Those numbers are so large that it is almost impossible for us to get our minds around it. If you stack 100 billion $1 bills on top of each other, the stack would be about 5,000 miles tall, or roughly the distance from Washington, D.C. to Moscow, according to Tim McMahon, editor at InflationData.com. Hurricane Katrina interrupted oil production, importation, and refining in the Gulf area, thus having a major effect on GDP. Before the storm, one-tenth of all the crude oil consumed in the United States and almost half of the gasoline produced in the country came from refineries in the states along the Gulf shores. An additional 24% of the natural gas supply is extracted or imported in the region. Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama account for 2% of the total U.S. yearly gross domestic product. The storm reduced the region's impact on the national GDP to almost none. In 2005, GDP growth went from 3.8% in quarter 3 to 1.3% in quarter four, as the region rebuilds in its GDP input becomes slightly greater with every passing year. The unemployment rate for the region was 5.9% in 2004 before Hurricane Katrina hit and 12% after, while the New Orleans MSA jobless rate jumped to over 17.5%. This number can be deceiving due to many of the area's unemployed patrons which moved to other states and cities. In November of 2005, some 38,000 Katrina evacuees living in Texas were receiving disaster unemployment assistance and unemployment insurance benefits from their home state of Louisiana. Through the entire DUA benefit period, nearly 300,000 Louisiana residents scattered throughout the U.S. received just over $1 billion in benefits, according to FEMA website, FEMA.gov. Unemployment for this region fell despite the new jobs created for rebuilding and FEMA assistance. Hurricane Katrina was an exceptional storm. It cannot be compared to Ike or Gustav. In conclusion, the economic effects of hurricanes on the United States vary based on the intensity of a storm. Hurricane Katrina was exceptional due to the amount of damage it caused and the location in which it hit. Hurricane Ike and Gustav were large and damaging to the areas they hit but did not have a measurable impact on the national GDP. Local unemployment rose slightly after the hurricanes hit, but was substantial only for Hurricane Katrina. Yeah.